Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is the Numbers Choose My Makeup tag. And as you can see, I mean, it's not the worst. Thanks Ice Cream Man. And as you can see, it's not the worst. I mean, the lipstick kind of goes with that copper shade that I've got on my lid, but you know, this is not what I would have chosen, but that's the whole point of the tag, isn't it? So if you would like to see me mess up my makeup because of some numbers, keep on watching. So first of all, we're gonna choose primer and I don't have a massive makeup collection. So the four primers that I can choose from are Number one, the all-in-one Insta Blur Primer from The Body Shop. Number two, MAC Strobe Cream. Number three, MAC Prep and Prime Natural Radiance. Or number four, NYX Angel Veil Primer. So I've got my laptop here. I can't use my phone, but actually use my phone to film. So I don't have a good enough camera to film videos so I'm gonna need to generate a random number from Google on my laptop so one to four and it generates number two which was Mac strobe cream so I'm happy with that we're off to a good start because I've been really enjoying Mac strobe cream lately and this is only the um, this is only like a sample kind of tester I think that I might go for the full size. And we're gonna do eyes before we do the rest of the face because I have no idea what palette these numbers are gonna pick out and they might pick out um, a palette that's got a lot of fallout or dark colors or you just never know. So I'm gonna do the face after the eyes. I'm just gonna stick some concealer on my eyelids though just to give us a blank canvas. So I've got a good amount of palettes, eyeshadow palettes, but I've just picked four out. So number one is the Revolution Maxi Reloaded um, Monster Mats palette. Number two is this Pretty Fun and Fearless palette by Ciate and Chloe Morello. Number three is Jeffree Star's Androgyny palette. And number four is the Storybook Cosmetics Wizardry and Witchcraft palette. So we've got the generator here and it's still on uh, one to four from the last one. Number three, which is Jeffree Star's Androgyny palette. So this is the palette we're gonna be using today. So it's one to 10, obviously, and we will do it across. So one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. The first shade we're gonna need to use is, just gotta change this to 10. One to 10 there. The first shade we need to use, shade nine. Oh. <gasps> this is shade nine. Okay, what we're gonna do with shade nine. So I guess the whole point of this tag is to make you look a little bit different to what you normally would look. So when we're picking these colours, I'm just going to pick them and apply them in the same order that I normally would eyeshadow. So for example, we've just picked a shade Poison. And at this point, when I have no eyeshadow on, I would usually uh, just do um, a little bit in my crease all over the lid. So that's what I'm going to kind of do this whole entire time because what's the point in doing the tag otherwise okay so I'm gonna take a fluffy blending brush and I'm gonna apply poison to my crease gotta be honest I'm not a fan of that shade I kind of just look like I've got a really badly bruised eye okay so we were off to a good start I've no idea 
how I'm gonna save myself from this. I will be very surprised if this look turns out any kind of nice. <laughs> Next shade we are using is shade number five, which is Dominatrix, a dark, dark brown. What am I gonna do with a dark brown with this? I'm gonna take that same blending brush and I'm gonna apply this to the outer part of my eyelid. And then I'm gonna take a clean blending brush and blend them together. Please let a light shade be next. <clears throat> so next shade, what number? We need to go for number two. Safe word. So I guess that's going over the rest of the lid then. I'm gonna take a flat shader brush. Dip into that shade. This look is just turning out to be murky and muddy. Not my best look. That is a really nice colour though, safe word. It's a really nice neutral colour. Neutral taupe. And then I'm just going to do a little bit more blending so that they all blend together. And then the next shade, what number are we going to have? Number eight. <clears throat> number eight just adds to the murkiness. Military is number eight. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to take that on the flat shader brush and I'm going to go underneath my lower lash line with that. I look like a swamp lady. Okay, I'm just gonna work on blending out the top here. Cause that might be why it looks so hideous. So let's try and bring that back down. Kind of just have no idea what this look even can be. Okay, let's try and get a really light shade. So, the next shade we are going to use is shade two. We've already had that, so we can't do that again. Shade eight, we've already had shade eight. So we can't do that again. We've already had shade five, what? Four, okay, four. It's not bright, it's not light, but it is a shimmer and that's deja vu. So we're gonna put that all over the lid. We're just gonna spray it with some setting spray, just to see how bright we can actually get it. Oh, that makes a big difference. That color would actually be beautiful if it wasn't for the rest of the look. And I'm also going to take that underneath the lower lash line as well. I just don't think we can get any worse than this. Like, what is this? 
Okay, we're going to go back in with the dark brown that we used, Dominatrix. And just add a bit more of that to the outer corners. This could not have gone any worse. Oh, I used the wrong brush. Oh, it's broken. Oh, that looks like shit. This is a disaster, absolute disaster. But I think that that is the aim of the tag. Okay, we're gonna leave the eyes now because I can't do anything else to that. Okay, so the only brow product I have is the Body Shop 3-in-1 brow pen. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna set my number generator to one to two, and that will decide whether I use this or whether I find an eyeshadow that is similar to my hair color that I can use to fill in my eyebrows with that because it's just gonna be boring if I just have to use this. If you just have to use that, then I just have to use that. One to two. If it does one, I'll have to use the brow pen. If it does two, then I will use um, an eyeshadow color. Can you see? Two, eyeshadow. Okay, I have actually got a HD brows quad, so I'm gonna use that to do my eyebrows today on, a, on an angled brush. And I'm gonna go in with this shade just here, which is the shade Warm Brown. Okay, so they don't look terrible. Good, okay. Let's now move on to the face and then we'll finish the eyes. Okay. So foundation, let's see what I've got. I don't have a whole load of foundation, so I'm gonna have to use two BB creams in the mix. So for number one is the Body Shop Fresh Nude Tinted Balm. Number two is Revlon Color Stay Foundation. Number three is the Unique BB Flawless Tinted BB Cream. Number four is Body Shop matte clay skin clarifying foundation and number five is body shop fresh nude foundation one to five we are using number five which is the body shop fresh nude foundation quite happy with that option because that's probably my second favorite of what i own so, Body Shop Fresh Nude Foundation, it is... And I do actually quite like this foundation. It reminds me a lot of Revlon Colour Stay anyway. But I think Revlon Colour Stay lasts a little bit longer than this throughout the day but it kind of has the same finish. It's kind of light to medium coverage, quite dewy. It's quite an everyday foundation. I don't like I've been punched in the eyes. for concealer so we have got the big cover liquid concealer for number one revolution concealing define concealer number two 
Unique Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer Number no. Three, Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer Number no. Four, and the Body Shop Maclay Concealer Number no. Five. So one to five, we're using number four, Unique Mineral Touch Skin Perfecting Concealer. Ooh. Mm. It farted in my eye. This is quite a thick concealer. <laughs> I'm just gonna use a foundation and concealer brush to apply that. Look at that, that is really that's quite a thick concealer and it's going to be a little bit too light for me why is it grey oh my god what has happened damn it just going to try and fix that with beauty blender oh my god Grey? What the hell are you grey for? Maybe it was the brush. Maybe there was something on the brush. I don't like how this makeup is going. Oh, what did I do that for? I don't think this could have gone any worse. Okay, so I've just got one contouring product, so I'm just gonna use it. It's the one that I usually use, the Unique um, Duet Pen in Dark. And then I've got two powders to set with, and we will either use the Body Shop Matte Clay Powder, which is broken, or the Rimmel Clear Complexion Powder in Transparent, so. One or two. Let's change this to a two. We are using one, which is the matte clay powder. Take it out on a big fluffy brush. And just set all of that. So then we're gonna go in with some blush and I've only got three powder ones to choose from. So we are going to go with number one for this Rimmel Lasting Finished Soft Color Blush. Or this number two, So Susan Universal Blush. Or this Collection Shimmer Shades Quad. But really it's only a trio because that one's gone. Number three. So I'm just gonna get a small round blush brush and swirl it in all the shape. Bit much. And then we're gonna choose a bronzer. So we've got three bronzers to choose from. This is the Body Shop Honey Bronze Bronzer, number one. Or you've got the Unique Beachfront Bronzer number two oh that's really pretty number two or we can go for the bourgeois chocolate bronzer number three the computer says number one okay so we might as well go the full whack and we're going to choose a highlight so we've got four highlights to choose from. We've got the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer Highlight in the shade Iridescent Gold. We've also got the MUA Undress Your Skin Shimmer in the shade Pink Shimmer. We've got the Revolution Ghost Lights Vivid Baked Highlighter. Or we have this small, tiny little Model Co. 
highlight in the shade Frosé. So, that was one to four in that order. So, one to four, we are gonna use number three. That highlight does not go with this look whatsoever, but we're just gonna have to, um, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Okay, now we're gonna finish eyes. We need to choose an eyeliner. Oh, this could go wrong. <laughs> I'm really not good at liquid liner, but I'm gonna choose a liquid liner in the options. Just in case the universe wants to make this worse for me than what it already is. Or we're gonna have the Body Shop Eye Definer in black or the Marc Jacobs Eyeliner in the shade Earthquake, which is brown. So one, two, three. And it's chosen number two. So we're gonna put that on our top lash line and our water line. And then for mascara, I really do just buy and use one mascara at a time. So we don't have an option here because I only have one mascara and that is the Body Shop Happy Go Lash. So I'm just gonna use that one. Now the final step is lips. Okay, so for lips, I've chosen six shades. Some are nude, we've got brown, We've got red, we've got orange, like peach. So it'll be interesting to see how this ends. So one to six, so we've got Jeffree Star Liquid Lip in Posh Spice. We've got number two, NYX Lingerie Liquid Lip, I think this is, in the shade Teddy. We've also got this Body Collection Lipstick in the shade Mango Mood. This is the Ciate lipstick in the shade Spark. We've got Makeup Revolution lipstick, a really dark one. Um, I don't know if this has got a shade. Looks like this is one of the Atomic shades. Atomic Make Me Tonight in number Five. and we've got Jeffree Star lipstick in the shade Unicorn Blood. So let's let the generator decide. One to six, shade three. Oh, mango mood apparently. <laughs> okay, let's try it then. So it's an all right color. Kind of goes with what I've got on the lid, but does not go with this look whatsoever. Thank you, Tag. Thanks. So I guess that's it. That is the Numbers Choose My Makeup tag. Done and dusted. Not the best. But that's the whole point of the tag, isn't it? If you like this video and if you want more fun videos like this, then give me a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy the videos that I make so that I can keep on making them for you. See you in the next one.